baking with tip, we are uh, making some pumpkin bread. We are starting out with two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of cinnamon. I added a tablespoon of nutmeg into this and kind of got it all mixed together and ready. But we'll start out with our wet ingredients. We've got three eggs and one cup of oil here. We'll start getting that mixed all together. that combined together well, then we are going to start adding in our pumpkin. This is two cups of uh, canned pumpkin puree. Again, you could use all-purpose flour with this instead of self-rising, or I'm sorry, you could use self-rising flour instead of all-purpose. We are using all-purpose flour right now, uh, but I don't know that it would yield quite the same results. Um, your bread would be a little bit more uh, dense if you substituted that, just so you know. Um, and the recipe did not call for this, but I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of vanilla. I think that's a nice little trick to make sure that you get some nice moist bread. Once we get all that combined together, then we'll start adding our dry ingredients. Now I also, in this mixture, is um, it called for um, a half a cup of brown sugar and then a cup of uh, granulated sugar, but I just went ahead and split that. So I did two thirds cup of brown sugar and then two thirds cup of granulated sugar. Anytime I'm doing breads, I like to make sure that I half the sugar with brown sugar. It, again, that contributes to the, the bread being nice and moist and I think it gives it a good rich taste. Once you get all this well combined, you're ready to just put it right in your pans. Again, I just got some foil pans from Walmart and I will spray those with some cooking spray and we will bake these for about 40 to 45 minutes on 350. Let me know what you guys think and send pictures if you guys try this out.